Final leg. So the big news that's been making headlines across the world has been the coronavirus coming out of China. There's been over 4,000 confirmed cases of infections of the virus and just over 100 people have died because of the virus all in China right now. And those numbers might not actually reflect the scope of the virus. Reports have been saying that numbers might really be higher than reported and they might be growing over the next couple days and weeks because of the Chinese New Year that is going on right now. But not going to go into the specific details about the virus you guys can look up more information and do your googles on that i want to talk about the world indoor track and field championships that are scheduled to be going down on march 13th 14th and 15th this year currently i'm planning to go to the world indoor championships want to be able to see some great competition want to be able to give you guys as much coverage as possible but because of the virus situation right now this might not be the case the epicenter and the suspected origin of the virus is wuhan china and nanjing which is where the world indoor champs will be is approximately 450 kilometers which is about 200 180 miles away from Wuhan. So not very, very close, but still close in the grand scheme of things. There was an article in The Guardian that was talking about the threat the coronavirus might have on these World Indoor Championships. They spoke with World Athletics, which is the governing body for the sport of track and field. The World Athletics said they are in close discussions with the World Health Organization, as well as individual federations and monitoring the situation carefully. But no decision has been made and they are still preparing to host the event. So again, the World Champs are on March 13th to the 15th. So just about six weeks, just over six weeks away to go. So still a lot can change, but we can't make clear predictions. They're saying that the numbers of infections and potential deaths is still rising. We can't predict what's going to be happening. It may get worse. It may get better. Not really sure. But a lot of other athletics events in the region have been making decisions, making game time decisions based on the virus right now. The Asian Athletics Association were scheduled to hope the Asian Indoor Track and Field Championships on February 12th and 13th. 13th in Hangzhou, China, which is just about 560 kilometers, about 350 miles away from Wuhan. So actually even farther away from Wuhan than Nanjing is. But the games are going to be coming up a lot closer. It's just about three weeks away to those games. So they chose to make a game day decision and actually cancel the championships because of the coronavirus. We also know that the Hong Kong Marathon, which is the largest participated event in Hong Kong, that actually is going to be canceled. They announced that it's going to be canceled as well. That was scheduled to be held on February 9th. So they had to make a game day decision just like the Asian Athletics Association and they had to cancel that event again because of the coronavirus. So the World Athletics has to make a decision on what they're going to do with the World Championships coming up in March. I think there's three specific options that they can make. The first option would potentially be to delay the event which I think is the most unlikely option. One reason is because we don't know how the virus is going to progress. We know the numbers are still rising and it might decrease because the infrastructure structure is in place to potentially reduce the risk but we know that we can't predict these things even though they're six weeks away it really might start to spike again it might start to increase the virus might start to spread we're not sure about it but then there also is going to be an effect on the athletes competing if they delay the event this is going to extend their indoor season and push into that outdoor season we know this is an olympic year and athletes really take things seriously when it comes to track and field and the olympics so pushing it later on past the original date is going to push into when they want to open their outdoor seasons, push closer to the Olympic trials, and then of course push closer to Olympics. A lot of athletes want to make sure that they're primed and ready. They're going to be recovering after the indoor season going into outdoors. Of course, you know, some athletes are not even competing indoors, so definitely can't delay the event. Probably the most unlikely option for them. The second option, in my opinion, is to move to a completely different city, a completely different country outside of China. Of course, this would present a lot of logistical issues. They would have to find a city that's capable of hosting a World Indoor Championships. They would have to find a city that has a venue that's viable. Not many countries, not many cities have indoor 200 meter bank tracks that can facilitate not only athletes, but also coaches, media, potential fans. And thinking of the fans and the athletes, all the influx of people coming into the city, they have to be able to accommodate transportation, hotels, all those various factors will come into play if a new city is coming in. And like I said, with the venue, a lot of these venues don't host permanent indoor tracks. Some of them build the tracks for the indoor seasons or even just for specific meets and then they break them down and have that venue used for other events so might not be a viable thing to do on a last minute basis for the world athletics so definitely something that might be a little tough but could be a consideration finally the third option i think would be to potentially cancel this event and unfortunately i think this would probably be the most viable option this would reduce the greatest amount of harm and risk to the athletes any fans any media who would be traveling into the country we can't predict how the virus is 
is going to be progressing. And again, there's so many people who are going to be coming into the country and coming into the city. When there's large groups of people, they might be coming in and not be infected. But if they unfortunately do get sick or if they do get infected with so many people in such a close proximity, you're more likely to have people get infected and then go back to their home countries after the event and potentially spread the virus to other people. So that would be a huge risk that, of course, we don't want to see. So this might be an option that they have to go with canceling the event. Again, I want to go to these world championships. I want to be able to see these athletes. I love seeing athletes compete in track and field. And I want to give you guys as much coverage as I can from the world indoor championships. But if there's so much of a risk, if this coronavirus is threatening the potential stability and potential health of the athletes and the participants, then it might be something that they have to cancel making a game day decision. So give me your guys' opinion. What do you think would be the best option for the world athletics to make in response to the coronavirus in terms of the world indoor championships? Should they cancel the event? Should they move it? Should they delay it? What do you think they should do? All right, leave your comment below. Let me know what your guys' opinion is. Like the video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Check out the last couple videos I did. I recapped the NCAA weekend as well as the New Balance Indoor Grand Prix. And we're going to be back next weekend to recap the great highlights from the weekend. So again, keep tuning in and we'll be back again in the next video. Thanks.